हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू द प्रिसीजन प्राइस एक्शन प्रो ट्रेडर सीरीज दिस इज अशोक देवना प्रिया योर ट्रेडिंग बॉडी द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज द स्टोरी ऑफ गैप कैंडल्स गैप कैंडल्स आर सम ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स इन प्राइस एक्शन दे प्ले अ पिवोटल रोल इन योर ट्रेडिंग लेट्स ट्राई टू डीप डाइव इन टू इट So what is a gap candle? The price closes somewhere. The next day, either the price opens very high or the price opens very low. Far away from the yesterday's close price. That's what we call as gap candle. <clears throat> By the way, look at this candle. What kind of a candle? Base candle. Body is small. Good. ERC base candle which is a bad candle NRC base is a good candle ERC base is a bad candle correct now this is another candle this is yesterday's close for example this is yesterday's close and this is tomorrow's open or today's open this gap is called as a gap candle what we do in price action is we generally treat a gap candle as a momentum candle so what we do we just assume that there is one two candle here we assume there is a one candle which is invisible which is hidden but it is a momentum candle why it's a momentum candle because the price went up because of extensive buying extensive pressure of the buyers not sellers if it's a buyer pressure only price will go up right according to the principle of supply and demand there are some amazing concepts where even price goes up when there is no demand when there is selling also price can go up there are multiple scenarios there are some interesting concepts that that comes up in in price action analytics maybe i need another 3 months to 6 months to get into those topics we'll talk about it later anyway for now this is a base candle there is a gap that gap we assume a momentum candle all right that's a imaginary momentum candle that we assume and place it here and that's when we try to visualize what happens at the core level in terms of price action trading when you merge both of them let's say you merge this is the candle right what happens if you merge these two what will be the new candle how do we do take the open of the first candle the close of the second candle the highest high for example this is how you should do look at this you need to take the open of the first candle okay and the close of the second candle and the highest high of both the candle and the lowest low of both the candles when you merge them this is your o h l c that's how the candlestick will look and if you merge this candle and this candle can you guess what happens see this that is the final candle and that's also a momentum candle why because of the invisible momentum you merge the base candle with another base candle the outcome is a momentum candle how because there is a invisible momentum candle which is hidden between the candles and gap candles 
play a very structured role in price action they have special special role in a price action journey a price action trader is not a breakout trader is not a support resistance trader he is a retracement trader he is not like a a cheetah driving or chasing a deer the price action trader is like a tiger who waits on the river bank for his prey to come towards him and he jumps on the prey at an appropriate time when the prey is vulnerable the same thing the price action trader has to do it's an entirely unique concept okay cool that's almost a momentum candle okay never ignore the power of gaps as they make a significant difference to the price action structures anyway let's do this let's quickly jump into <clears throat> let me find some beautiful gaps for you can you find it gap candle gap down candle see this is a gap up candle this is a gap down candle this is a gap down this is gap up can you see this one gap up it opened up and came down this is gap up this is gap up and then came down look at this guy gap down now what you must assume you must imagine a momentum candle wherever there is gaps that is what a typical price action trader should behave you must assume that there is a momentum candle after this ultimately it boils down to the same stuff only two candles either momentum or base even if it's a gap it's called as a momentum and then there are two more flavors nrc erc that's all that's the base and basic foundation of price action and thereafter the building blocks will start emerging okay all right coming to the summary the gaps are very important part of price action they are generally treated as momentum candles many times gaps don't get filled why should a gap get filled there are so many gaps in nifty which are not get filled even today many times there is a price let's say 100 rupees somebody there is extensive buying some great news some strong fundamental change point price from 100 goes to 110 from 110 it can go to 200 2000 20000 any number is possible but there is no guarantee that the price should come back and fill that gap of 10 points between 100 and 110 it need not fill and when price comes and fills such gaps it means something all right so there are a lot of things that we as price action traders need to know but today we have learned that gap is a momentum candle like a typical scenario where body is more than 50% of the total length all right so with this we successfully come to the end of the conversation on gap candles we will catch up again in the subsequent video with yet another interesting topic until then signing off ashok devanapriya the trading body thank you